this question belongs to topic engineering mechanics from trusses topic okay so here is the question the figure shows an idealized plane truss if a horizontal force of 300 newton is applied at point a then the uh, then the magnitude of the force produced in the member then the magnitude of the force produced in the member cd is dash newtons okay so here is the diagram given here is the diagram given to you okay the angle subtended is 75 degree okay please okay so here is the force of 30 300 newtons is applied here is the force of 300 newtons is applied he is asking you to calculate what is the force in what is the reaction force in cd he is asking you to calculate this so now uh, starting with our starting our discussion with point a starting our discussion with point a this is the force 300 newtons applied okay and this be the force let this be the force R A B, R A B, and this be another force. This is R A C, R A C. The angle subtended between these two will be 30 degrees. The angle subtended between these two will be 30 degrees, and this will be uh, this angles here. It is 75. This will be also 75 as per the alternate angles. That is 75 degrees. This is 30 plus 75. That is 105 and rest angle will be rest of the angle will be 255 okay now applying the lamis theorem applying the lamis theorem rac by sine by sine 255 by sine 255 is equals to rab by sine rab by sine 75 775 rab by sine 75 and 300 by sin 300 by sin 30 so approximately rac we have assumed the direction of rac we have assumed that rac to be as tension which is not correct rac will be approximately 579.55 uh, newtons of compression this direction shows it is a tension but it is compression so that is why negative sign if i remove this negative sign then i have to write it as tension okay so here with respect to if, if I am not considering negative sign then I can write it as compression also okay. So now and next will be RAB, RAB is equals to uh, it will it will be the same thing but with a positive sign okay 579.55 Newtons this will be in tension. Now here if uh, after going to this point after uh, going to this joint RAB and RBD is collinear AB and BD are collinear a B and B D are collinear collinear so which means R A B equal to R B D R A B equal to R B D this is one and so and now R B C will be equal to zero R B C will be equal to zero B C is a zero force member similarly similarly if you go to joint C similarly if you go to joint C if you go to joint C R A C R A C is collinear A C is collinear with C E A C is collinear with C E R A C is equals to R C E okay once you have two uh, two reactions collinear then those two will have equal will be equal in magnitude and next rcd that is a reaction along cd will be rcd will be equal to zero so here this is a one zero force member this is another zero force member and uh, rcd the value of rcd will be zero okay this is the end of the answer uh, this question belongs to the topic engineering mechanics from the kinematics uh, here is a question a rigid triangular body PQR with the sides of equal length one unit moves on a flat plane at the instant shown in figure 
the edge QR is parallel to x axis and the body moves such that the velocities of P and R are VP and VR in x and y directions respectively. The magnitude of angular velocity of the body is dash. Okay. So, he is asking you to calculate the magnitude of the angular velocity. Okay. So, now here these two bodies, these two are the velocities of point here as per the given diagram. This here it is given as one unit, one unit, one unit. So, then this will be 60 degree, 60 degree and 60 degree. Right. So, now uh, here he is asking you to calculate the angular velocity of the body. Right. Now, drawing the, uh, this will be the point where, uh, the, this will be the point where uh, I am trying, I am locating here the instantaneous center. So, this will be the uh, loca locus of the instantaneous center and uh, uh, with respect to VR, this will be the point. Okay. So, this will be the instantaneous center for velocity VR and VP, VR and VP. He is asking you to calculate the angular velocity of the body. So, now, uh, here uh, VR, VR is equals to, VR is equals to, let us, the, this unit that is IR, that is IR, IR into omega. What is IR? IR is nothing but, IR will be, uh, IR will be, that is uh, cos 60 is equals to, cos 60 is equals to IR by PR, that is IR is equals to 0.5 times of IR is equals to that is 0.5 times of PR 0.5 times of PR that is PR is equals to 1 so this will be 0.5 so now omega omega will be angular velocity of the body angular velocity of the body will be equal to uh, VR by 0.5 that is 2 times of VR 2 times of VR that is matching with option D okay so this is the end of the answer uh, this question belongs to engineering mechanics from the topic conservation of energy and conservation of momentum here is a question a ball of mass 3 kg moving with a velocity of 4 meter per second undergoes a central uh, undergoes a perfectly elastic direct central impact with a stationary ball of mass m after the impact is over the kinetic energy of 3 kg ball is 6 joules uh, the possible value of m uh, r dash okay here is the question, here is mass m1 equal to 3 kg given to you and it is moving with a velocity of 4 meter per second. The It is undergoing a central impact that is the two of elastic type. Okay, so E is equals to final velocities for ratio of final velocities by relative velocities before impact. Relative velocities before after the collision by relative velocities before collision equal to 1. E is equals to 1. So now, and here he is saying that the m2 mass, m2 mass is equals to m and the uh, velocity or initial velocity of the m2 mass is equals to 0, m2 mass is equals to 0. So now once I put this, all these values, so I will get u v1 minus v2, v1, sorry v2 minus v1 by u1 is equal to 4 and u2 is 0. So this will be 4, this will be equation 1. And uh, now applying the conservation of momentum, applying the conservation of momentum that is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 the final velocities after collision and initial velocities before collision. So, this is 3 kg, this is 3 into 4, this is 0 and this will be 3 times of v1 plus m2 is equals to m2 is not known, m2 is m, v2 is also not known. So, in place of uh, this I can write it as 12, this I can write it as 12, this is 3 v1. 3 v1 in place of v1 I can write it as in place of v1 I can write it as v2 minus 4 that is 3 into v2 minus 4 is equal plus m v2 okay so this is 12 this is 3 v2 3 v2 plus m v2 this is here it is 3 4 12 12 and this will become 24 here it will become 24 so this is v2 is equals to v2 is equals to uh, 24 by 3 plus m 24 by 3 plus m v2 is equals to 24 by 3 plus m now this is the conservation of momentum this was the conservation of momentum conservation of momentum next energy 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 conservation 
and the energy conservation. Okay, so here initial kinetic energy of body one plus initial kinetic energy of body two is equals to finitic final kinetic energy of body one plus final kinetic energy of body two. Okay, so this will be d zero because body two is at the rest. This will be zero because body two is at the rest. So K E one K E I will be equal to half of mass is given as three kg. This is mass is three kg into four square. This will be uh, okay. One more thing uh, here in the question is mentioned that after the impact is over, the initial kinetic the kinetic energy of three kg ball is six joules. Okay, so here the kinetic energy kinetic energy of Final kinetic energy of body one will be equal to six. Okay, so this will be zero plus zero. This will be six. This will be half of m m two m two is equal to m that is a plus v two square. Okay, so now uh, this equation this will be sixteen sixteen three is forty eight forty eight by two is twenty four twenty four minus six is eighteen 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 is equal to half m V two square eighteen is equal to half m v two square. This is equal to m v two square. m v two square is equal to thirty six. m v two square is equal to thirty six. Now, 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 in place of v, I can write it as I can reuse this term. That is m m plus m into twenty four plus three m whole square by thirty six. Okay. So now, if I I can write this term as I can write this term as uh, this is m. 24 square is 576. Okay, 24 square is 576. This is m square plus uh, three. That is a square plus b square plus uh, 2ab. That is uh, 6m plus 9 is equals to 36. Okay, so now I can uh, write this equation. That is m square. That is 36m square. Plus uh, 36 m square plus uh, 16 into 36 is 216. Uh, 16 into 36 is 216, and uh, 216 m and 36 uh, uh, 36 into 9 will be uh, 324. 324 uh, minus is equals to 576 m. 576 m. So you are getting a quadratic expression. You are getting a quadratic expression that is 36 m square. M square 36 m square. This is uh, 217 216 minus 576. Uh, so this will be 360. 360 m plus 324. So upon solving this quadratic expression, upon solving this quadratic expression, you should get the answers as for m equal to. You get the answers as m is equals to 1 comma 9 will be the roots of this expression. So which is matching with option B. Okay. So this is the end of the answer.